Hello. Let's see how to install the 2N IP style intercom. There are two installation options for the 2N IP style. The first is surface installation, which is easier and we won't specifically cover it in this video. The second option is flush installation, which we will cover in this video. However, several aspects of the installation are shared for both installation options. Therefore, we recommend anyone who will be installing the 2N IP style intercom to watch this video. For this type of installation, you need a flush mount box in addition to the intercom itself. You'll find the basic steps on how to install the intercom and the flush mount box printed directly on the lids of the product boxes. However, we recommend you also open the installation manual on our wiki. Check what's inside of the flush mount box package. And this is the content of the IP style package. Make a hole for the flush mount box. Check if you have the box oriented properly. Mark the hole's positions, prepare dowels and make a hole for the cabling where suitable. Pull the cable through and anchor the box using screws. Insert the enclosed detents in the riveting nuts and fit it with screws. Do the same for the bottom detent embedding. Use a levelling key to check the proper height of the tent embedding to make sure that the key is aligned with the mounting box edge and touches the detent surface. If the position of the detent seems to be too deep, untighten the screws to remove the detent fixture. Insert a levelling key in the levelling mechanism grooves and turn it to adjust the required level. After levelling, re-anchor the fixture with a screw do the same for the bottom detent embedding. Put the brackets to the left and right sides of the bottom detent handle and fit their positions using screws. Now the mounting box installation is complete. Unscrew the connector cover on the back of the device. Thread all of the unterminated cables through the bushing on the inside of the connector cover. After threading the cables through the bushing, fit the required end pieces. Fit the profiles on the device back onto the mounting bracket and slide them down to the lowest possible position, anchoring the device by snapping it into place. Connect all the cables to the device. Screw the connector cover back on. The mounting bracket provides sufficient support for cable installation and so it's unnecessary to support the device in any way. Secure any extra cabling in the clips. Fold in the device towards the flush mounting box and then press downwards to seal the installation. Lock the position by tightening the two screws inside the device using the Allen key. Thanks for watching and I wish you a pleasant experience with 2N products.